For the next six weeks, in partnership with Morrison's, each Thursday we're uploading a new recipe to the Emotion Cookbook. Today's recipe is homemade pizzas, absolutely gorgeous and a real fun recipe to get the whole family involved in the kitchen. Welcome to My Emotion Kitchen, brought to you by Morrison's Emotion Cookbook. Today's recipe is all about family. All right, guys? Yeah. So I brought my family into this one. Uh, the link down below in the description to the full Morrison's Emotion Cookbook. So there's other uh, family-inspired recipes for you to check out. But today, we're making one of our favourite family recipes, right? Yeah. What is that? Pizza. Oh, yes. Nothing better than making your own homemade dough. We're going to do this. You're going to love it. Then you are going to try it and love it too. So if you want to make these delicious homemade pizzas, hit pause on the video now, scribble down those ingredients and make them to your liking. You're going to love it. So we're going to start making our homemade dough now. Uh, there are some uh, gluten-free options available at Morrison's as well if you want to try that out. I get a lot of questions about can you do a gluten-free option yeah. at the base? So you don't have to make it at all. You can actually just get a ready-made one. It just saves time. But we're going to make our own with some strong white flour. So can you weigh out 300 grams? Do you think you can do that? Yeah. yeah. Come on there. Yeah. Should this we is where it goes up? everywhere. You got it, mate? Okay. Gonna be precise. Yeah. Can you want to tip that into the bowl, Chloe, with a little bit of help? Should I take that out? There we go. Oh yes. Yes. That, Don't worry about your countertop getting messy. That is why we put a bit extra in. <laughs> yes, that's it, yeah. <laughs> and it's all clean. Make sure your countertop's clean, because that's what we're going to be needing. Uh, next thing, we've got a packet of fast-acting yeast. We need about a teaspoon of that. Now these packets tend to have a little more than that, so I'll do a little shaky shake with you. Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Right, and next. Pinch of salt. Oh, pinch of salt. Who wants a pinch of salt? Me. Go on then. All right. Makes all the difference. A little bit of flavour. <laughs> uh, tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil. Do you want to do the olive oil? Yeah. And last but not least is some warm water. This is 200 millilitres. It's warm because it gets the yeast going. Now comes the part which she's looking forward to. Stir away, mate. <laughs> Doesn't look like much right now, but trust me, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> is that stiff? Is it hard to do? <laughs> Go on then, I'll hold the bowl and you both do it. I'll get the scales out of the way. Oh, that's it. Is it getting harder? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just holding the spoon in Chloe's stone. Yeah? <laughs> but as you can see already, it's come together quite nicely. It has. So it's looking good. It comes to a stage where you need clean hands and we're getting a knead away. Push the dough out, get any excess off your spoon. So bring it together with your hands, hands, girls. Squeeze it together. All right. And try and get it into one big ball. This is where the that's family it. fun comes, right? Need some flour on there? All right, want <laughs> more flour? <laughs> That's it, squeeze it in. Bring it together as one. And what we're gonna eventually start doing, by actually working it with your hands, you put more heat into it, so it's really working that yeast. I want you to mop up all that flour as well. So keep going. That's it, Phoebe, you got it. It does take a good 10 minutes to do this step, about 15 minutes it took, but we've got a nice smooth bowl, and we've cleaned out our bowl, so it needs we to be have. absolutely clean. Teeny bit of olive oil in here. Go on then. Just a tiny drop. Tiny though. drop. Our clean bowl gets filled with our brand new shiny smooth dough. Sit that in there like so. Cling film over the top. Up the cling film. Yeah, seal it all down. And now this goes into a warm space. We've got our little boiler cupboard, so somewhere like that, airing cupboard, uh, for an hour to prove and double in size. Da, 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 da. Look at enormous. that. Uh, <gasps> since that's been in there, we've just prepared some of our other toppings, which you'll see in a bit. But, Phoebes, can you remove the uh, cling film? What do you think of that? It looks like. Overcooked porridge. Overcooked, overcooked porridge. porridge. Yes. Not that I make you overcooked <laughs> porridge though, right? There's a hidden story there. Do you want to have a smell? Does it smell yeasty? Is that like, yeah. Does it smell like beer? Alright, knock it, it back. It does, it smells so like beer. So put your fingers in it, knock it Ooh. back. Can you see that? The air's going to come out of it. Look at this, see? Alright, get your hands right in there, see? It's all sort of shrunk back. So that's obviously going to be quite wet. We need to flour down our surface. There we go. Now put that on the flour. Oh! oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get the flour on there. Get it nice and coated again. Make it feel like a dough. <laughs> Squeeze it, roll it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Set. So we'll tear that up into little chunks. We've probably got enough there to make three, maybe four pizzas. Uh, we'll probably make two smaller ones for the kids. So we'll, uh, we'll divide it up and portion it, and then we can start to roll it out. Spare pile of dough, and they've both got an even size amount, kind of like just over the size of a tennis ball. Uh, it's quite flat at the moment. I'm going to let them roll away. The great thing about being homemade pizza is it doesn't matter if it's a perfect circle. I quite like the rustic sort of shapes yeah, to it. Kind of like a dinosaur's footprint. Or the, or yeah, yeah, anything. It's great, right? And so just let them have fun. And ultimately, if they're having fun, they're going to eat it, right? I don't know. Oh, she's rolling the spare bit. <laughs> and you can also do it with your hands as well. So you can just sort of shape it, press it down like that, and just you know, pull it apart. It's quite flexible and elastic. Oh, or you hands. can do the whole Italian thing oh, where you're spinning the pizza in the air. 
I haven't done that before. If you do it, send me a video. I would love to see it. We have some very keen children here with we their do. toppings and their <laughs> bases all done. Uh, so here are the ingredients we're choosing. You could put anything you like on it. In fact, the sauce, this is passata. You want to go for that, girls? Get it right in the middle. Some as well. Try and leave a little edge around, uh, well, around okay. the edge for a crust. Don't go all the way over. If they do, you know, it's fine. But you could use pesto as a base. Um, you could use uh, like barbecue just, sauce or ketchup, yeah. tomato puree. Okay. Mix it up. It's just whatever you like. Just have fun with it. Your favourite ingredients. <laughs> what I really like about cooking with my family is that like this sort of stuff. When I, when I first started doing my videos, before that, it was I was trying to play with Phoebe with Barbie dolls, and there wasn't really anything that brought us together. But what with well, then cooking with Phoebe, right? It was kind of changed our life a little bit. Yeah, so you've brought your place together. This is my version of Barbie doll now. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's looking good. Really good. And also, I find that the girls will always eat this more than they would if I would have made this myself. Yeah. You happy with it, yours? And I am yes. well impressed Great. because they've both left a really cool crust area on there, which will be really good. Chloe's just making sure that the ham is it's ham. ham. <laughs> 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 Any excuse. So I presume you want ham on your pizza? There you go. Yeah, and what about you, Phoebe? What would you like? Pineapple and peppers. Pineapple right. and peppers, yep. okay. It's a really good way to get your kids eating more veg as well. So you could like load it with different colours of vegetables and call it a rainbow pizza. A pineapple face. Oh yeah, I can see. The rest of the dough, I wrapped it in clinging film, put it in the fridge so we, I can make a pizza for Mrs. Yeah, Barry and I later. later. <gasps> Go on. <laughs> In terms of herbs and things, we've got some basil that we're going to just add on towards the end, but you could actually yeah. put some mixed herbs like in a tub and just sprinkle that on there. Oh wow, I like what you've done That's there, Phoebe. Really <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it kind of looks like fried <laughs> eggs. Wow. It's looking so, so good. They like it simple. No? We made a face okay. and we made a pepper and ham infused one. Really good. So we've got tons of stuff left for we our have. one later on, haven't we? Yeah. She just wants to eat food. <laughs> We're going to whack it in our Make sure it's nice and hot as per the temperatures on your screen and it will come out looking absolutely gorgeous. All right, they are out of the oven and I'm now going to carefully just lift them off the tray and place them down on the board like so. It is. No cheese on that one. So it's got a nice sort of charred effect on the peppers. Whereas you see the cheese on that one is mad to sort of spread and go nice and golden brown. It smells really nice. It does smell does really it? nice. Oh, yeah. See that? Super fast. Yes, Super it was. Uh, Chloe's just saying how quick this whole thing was to make. Yes, it was. So, the best thing now is having a taste. Ready, guys? I'm going to try some. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to have some of yours, Chloe. Can I try some too? <laughs> oh, no, you, you let me share? You're like, yeah. right, okay. <laughs> I'll just have some, some of Phoebe's. Is that all right with yours? Yeah. Can I try it? See that? Yeah. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. That's yummy. Mm. Amazing. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Wow. Good job, girls. So do you like your homemade pizza? Yeah. All right, now it's your turn to give this a go. So that is our recipe for family, right guys? It is. Yes. If you want to make more family inspired recipes uh, down below, there's a link to the Morrison's Emotion Cookbook and you can actually win a prize if you let us know what recipes represent family to you. Uh, leave a comment uh, of the recipe and also what it means, uh, whether it's like making a pizza, someone that brings the family together. What prizes could they win? The prize is your amazing cookbook mm -hmm. and some Morrison's shopping vouchers. Morrison's vouchers, amazing. And we will announce the winner at the end of the next video. So good luck, make this pizza, get the family in the kitchen. We love it and you'll love it too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.